director last night. He reckons we've got the campaign in the bag. Brilliant. Uh, Richard, can we have a word? Can it wait? I'm a bit pushed. I'm on level 10, Terry. The kid's a genius. The kid is a dysfunctional computer geek. No, no. Oh, Put your seatbelt on, see us in a few days if the throat hasn't cleared up. Huh? Thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Coughs, hernias, piles and verrucas. Another morning of non-stop glamour and excitement. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping we could meet up this afternoon. Oh, I can't. Why not? Well, I've got to pick Charlie up from school. I'll make sure you get there on time. Young the demographics, so I've got a lot of strong visual ideas in the proposal. Get away from the traditional housewife in a kitchen routine, the client says. Give us something cool and stylish. Make it the reservoir dogs of soap powder. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit off the wall, you know, but you need packaging that's going to jump right out and smack them between the eyes. You don't have to sell it to us, Rich. It's a bloody brilliant job. So, when do I start? We love your work, you know that. If the agency was in the market for freelancers, you'd be first on our wish list, no question. We fault for you, mate. Tooth and nail. Fact is, nothing's going out of house right now. I tell you, it's not like the old days. I reckon you had the right idea of getting out when you did. Okay. I'd give anything to have a nice little setup like yours. My own boss. Working the hours I fancy. No hassle from the belt tighteners and bollock heads in accounts. Can't be bad, can it? Listen, I I'm sorry, mate. That's just the way things are. Ah, oh, that's not fine. My shout next time, then. Cheers, Rich. Bye. Tea. The British answer to foreplay. <laughs> Dave is back at school now. I sometimes think if it hadn't been for him, we'd have called it a day years ago. Don't worry. Judy's going to stay with her father for a few days. He hasn't been well. Have you done this before? 
What, Métis? <laughs> Committed adultery. Christ, that's a bit Old Testament, isn't it? Thou shalt not commit adultery. We haven't actually done anything yet, Deborah. I want you to know that I've never been unfaithful to Richard. I believe you. I never thought anything like this could happen to me. I mean, we've always had a good marriage. I'm sure he loves me, really. It's just, he's been working so hard. Stop making excuses for him. It's time to do what you want. Marriages go wrong. He's changed. So have you. That's, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, you've been so kind, Tom. I'm, I'm really grateful. I, I just never imagined things would go this far. Neither did I, but they have. And now I think we should stop talking and do something about it. Mm. I need you, Deborah. Please, don't let me down now. Mm. 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 Yes, yes. All right, all right. Some idiot's had a bloody heart attack. We'll, uh, we'll talk tomorrow. It'll be all right, I promise. Oh, I have to pick up Charlie. Remember? Oh, damn. Look, I'll, um, I'll have to drop you on the high street. Don't worry. You'll be in plenty of time. Come on. Hammond people phoned. Oh, I don't believe it. He as good as told me we got it. Uh, they went for a cheaper quote. Well, we should have been given a chance to rejig the figures. Um, Richard, my paycheck bounced. <sighs> um, that shouldn't have happened. Look, it, it's all right. I mean, you can say it, you know. What? Well, you can't afford me. No, look, people love what we're doing. It just needs a couple of things to come together. <laughs> Only, uh, we do have a bit of a cash flow problem right now. Look, why don't you give me a call when things pick up a bit, eh? Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Terry, listen, I, uh, I will be in touch the minute we turn the corner, that's a promise.
Charlotte Bennett. I haven't seen her since school. No? Oh, God. Please don't let anything happen. Punish me, but don't let her be hurt. Please, God. We have to call the police. Just try and think where she might have gone. I don't know. for your mother i was hungry everyone else had already gone how many times have we told you never to leave school on your own you don't have to shout she knows what she's supposed to do i should have been there i'm the one who should be punished not her no one said anything about punishment it's my fault okay the bus was late these things happen oh charlie we make these rules for your protection there are bad people out there, sick people who hurt little children. You're old enough to understand what goes on in the world. And another thing. How many times have I told you what they put in these burgers? It still tastes nice, Daddy. And what kind of a world are we living in when we can't take our eyes off her for one minute without thinking she's dead in a ditch somewhere? She's all right. Yeah, this time. I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to her. Nothing's going to happen. You should complain. About the bus. Oh. I never thought Terry was the type to walk out on you. No, you know what people are like. Better job and they're off. Didn't want to hold them back. What's this for? Nothing. Don't drink too much, will you? Steady as a rock. <laughs> mm. Going to bed soon? Mm-hmm. Stop now. 
Who's that for? Not you. Move. Did you know that penguins make the light? Everyone knows that. I wonder how they know which one they're married to. Oh. <coughs> if you're a penguin, you can tell. They're probably down there thinking, all those humans would be back in the same how they ever done each other apart. <laughs> What came first, the bird or the biscuit? <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. Charlie, um, Tom and I are going to go and have a cup of tea. We won't be long. You stay with the group, OK? Sue. All right. Was that pantomime really necessary? It's standard procedure in these circumstances. I'm sorry, but you've left me no other option. <laughs> I'm expecting word on a number of important contracts. All I'm asking for is a little more operating capital. You make it sound as though I wanted to get myself into debt. I think I'm right in saying that you used your house as security for the original loan. You told me your marriage was as good as ever. Oh, I never said that. Oh, yes, you did. I was confused. But the last few days have made me realise that I, I could never do anything to damage my family. Marriage is supposed to be for life, isn't it? What about my feelings? Don't they count for anything? Please try to understand, Tom. We've been such good friends. It felt a bit more than friends when you stuck your tongue down my throat. If I'd have known this was just some pathetic little game you were playing to get your husband's attention, I'd have never let myself get involved. That's not me. There's nothing like a little strategic jealousy to freshen up a marriage, is there? I, I just wouldn't do that. I am sorry if I've hurt you. I never meant to. I'm gonna go now. some silly woman in the bank about the most boring things in the world and I suddenly thought to myself why should Charlie have all the fun? Where's your mum? She went to the cafe with her friend. This isn't what you think. Are you sleeping in? I swear to you, I'm not having an affair. Are you sleeping with him? No. I'm not saying we weren't involved, but I didn't sleep with him. Kissing, you touch your breast, so involved. What difference does it make? I didn't sleep with him. We live in the same house, and, and I'd barely see you. You're just never there. I needed someone to talk to. Things got out of control. I'm working my guts out to keep this family alive. I trusted you. Deep breath.
I'd like to do some more tests. We'll have to go to the Outsiders Hospital. There is something else. I've been having nightmares. Chamomile tea. An hour before bed. Sleep like a baby. What kind of nightmares? Well, it's always the same one. My son is there with his family, and uh, all the way they stare at me. I'm afraid God's very angry with me, Mary. We've been over this a hundred times. Your son lost his faith in our way of life and left. That is not your fault. He died because of my pride. He died because years later another car crashed into his. It was an accident. There are no accidents. Are you seriously suggesting that God would kill your son and daughter-in-law simply to punish you? You still have a granddaughter. Deborah's an outsider now. Made it quite clear she wants nothing more to do with me or the community. Dr. Doyle claims that you harassed him with suggestions of an improper nature and that you threatened to tell his wife of a non-existent affair when he refused to have sex with you. You went uninvited to his house and began to undress in front of him. It was with the greatest difficulty that he persuaded you to leave. This is a complete perversion of the truth. He's trying to get rid of me because I wouldn't sleep with him. Are you making a complaint? Are you? I am authorised to offer you eight weeks' salary in return for your immediate resignation. In the circumstances, I think that is not unreasonable. believe this. This shouldn't be happening to me. Richard, what's going on? I've lost the business. We owe the bank a fortune and they're repossessing the house. Apart from that, everything's fine. <laughs> Come on, you have to admit, it is bloody funny. Getting yourself sacked as well. I mean, the timing is pretty exquisite. Why didn't you tell me what's been happening? I'm your wife. Are you sure about that? I have a right to know. Oh, don't talk to me about that. Right. You're right! You can't just walk away from this. Watch me. I know what I'm doing, Isaac. I drove all the time before I came to the community. Come on. As long as you promise not to drive too fast. God looks after his chosen people.
Everything all right? I was just leaving. You don't have to. I'm not a Catholic. But you are a believer. I was brought up as an Anabaptist. The community of the faithful. Gosh. Head office incinerated your lot by the busload in the Middle Ages. We didn't take it personally. You burned everyone you didn't agree with in those days. Terrible from a PR point of view. It's a fascinating heresy. My family group came from Germany in the 20s. They wanted to be left alone. And they're still going strong? Mm. And do you? Do you have a faith now? I only asked because I thought you were praying. I didn't say I was consistent. I betrayed the only man I've ever loved at the worst possible moment in his life. I was selfish and stupid. And I feel so guilty that if it wasn't for my daughter, I think I'd rather be dead. What do you suppose God has to say about that? He does answer, you know. Not always in the way you expect, but he does listen. And he does answer. will give you a chance. It's your choice. No, not mine, Mary. God's. Let's go. Just tell me one thing. Do you want a divorce? not your fault. I've lost everything. Well, that's not true. 
close to the family. We can put all this behind us and start again. There isn't any money. I don't even got a place to live. Maybe we have. What do you mean? I got a letter from Isaac today. The community of the faithful. They're kind people, Richard. We'd have food, a roof over our heads, somewhere decent to rest while you look for a new job. Or we could walk up and down Oxford Street chanting and banging tambourines. They're not like that. Fanatics. guided our hands brother. With a little more hard work, everything will be ready. Have I ever let you down? Oh, often. The outsiders come to us for quality, brother. They'll wait a little longer if they have to. Uh, Leo, I'm relying on you. sweetheart. Come at last, an answer to all my prayers. Oh. Oh. Say hello to your great grandfather, Charlie. Oh, you're a real mother. <laughs> Same stubborn shin. You're not as old as I thought you'd be. <laughs> I'm very old indeed. <laughs> and this is my husband, Richard. Are you all right, Mr. Moore? Of course. Of course. What? Well, this is a great day. A great day for all of us. <laughs> hmm. At least it's got a bathroom. What did you expect? Bracing dip in the river once a week. It's luxury they don't like, not comfort. Won't be for long. 
just until you find another job. And then we can get started again. God almighty, what time do they call this? Good morning, sister. This is where we will find work for you, brother. Uncle? This girl was the best student I ever had, Brother Timothy. Far brighter than you. I always hoped she'd take over from me here one day. Isaac's missed you very badly, you know. Good to see him again. But that's not why you're here, is it? To be honest, we have nowhere else to go. So you're not staying? Does Isaac know? He knows I couldn't carry on living here before. It was your parents who were determined to leave then, not you. I knew my own mind. <laughs> no one knows anything at 15. You haven't changed, Mary. You are still just as stubborn and opinionated as you always were. <sighs> Glad to be with you. I'll be with you, brother. He blames himself for what happened. That's ridiculous. I don't know why God allowed him, of all people, to suffer the loss of his family. Perhaps the best of men undergo the hardest tests. Whatever the reason that brought you here, Deborah, for Isaac's sake, I'm glad you've come. Please, Carl, I am helping Mario rescue his girlfriend from Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong? Press start. Since we've been here, I've actually stopped worrying about where Charlie is. Doesn't matter because I know she's safe. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> it's as though the outside world doesn't exist anymore. 
first time in years I feel as though I've got no responsibilities, got nothing to worry about. I feel free. All I'm saying is that it'll be more efficient if we bring the workshop up to date. We don't need modern technology. We've got these. Oh, I'm trying to make things easier for you, brother. I work for God's glory, Carl, not my own ease and convenience. It's a question of long-term economic survival. We're a church of God. Not some business to be run for profit. My nephew is right. We cannot allow the outsiders to dictate our way of life. Look, nobody is suggesting fundamental change. It's the thin end of the wedge. What next? An amusement arcade? A video shop? Television with its pornography, atheism and violence? There is no comparison. Oh, dear, you're making things so hard. The fact is the majority have agreed this matter. You mean you voted through whatever I feel? Oh, I just want you to supervise the changes. God be with you. I suppose I should have expected this kind of compromise from a patriarch who couldn't stop his own family from joining the outsiders. You of all people should know that speaking ill of a brother behind his back is a grave sin. You know there is no place for bitter words here. Brothers, I apologize. I spoke in vanity and pride. No one should put their own desires above the needs of the community. Thine is the I'd, I'd like to say something. Um, when we came to this place, I thought you'd be a bunch of wide-eyed fanatics. <laughs> Instead, I found a group of people who lived the way I always thought Christians were supposed to, but never do. Doing everything for each other, nothing for yourselves. Take it from somebody who knows the outside world is a vicious, destructive rat race full of lies, cruelty and selfishness. It nearly crushed my family and me. Coming here is what saved us. God bless you. Good man. Welcome. What's that about? Just had this feeling I should stand up and say something.
Come, come quickly, sister. What? Come, come, you'll see. Come. Come. What is it? Something wonderful's happened, Deborah. He's spoken to me. What? Who has? I heard him. As clearly as I can hear you now. It's a miracle. God loves us, Deborah. He told me this is our home now. seen us so happy before. <laughs> She's doing okay. <laughs> Richard, we have to talk. Look, I know what's happened is important, but this isn't the only place in the world you can believe in God, is it? Hmm? I don't know what you want us to do anymore. I mean, if we're going to go, we've got to start making plans. We've got to... Mommy, look! You've got to find a new job. We need somewhere else to live. Richard? We have to think about it sometime. I don't want to. Rich. Haven't we been happy here? Haven't we been a family again? Yes. I know you want us to leave. Well, you always say this would be temporary. I mean... you'd rather be nowhere specifically well maybe it isn't a place then maybe it's a person what is this about doyle no do you love him don't worry i won't stand in your way if he's what you want go to him i never wanted to be with him it was a mistake richard you have to believe that i've only ever wanted you I love you. Then stay with me here where we're happy. Don't you see? This is the way things were meant to be. You said it yourself, remember? God told Isaac to write that letter to you. God brought us here. God knew this was where we belonged. He told you all that, did he? <laughs> well, maybe not in so many words. But you really do believe you heard him speaking to you? I know I did. You believe me, don't you? I'm trying. Look, just... I'll make you a promise. The day you or Charlie say you're unhappy here is the day we leave. Deal? Use a hand here. Sorry, Moses, dodgy back. What about a quick miracle? Maybe God's got a couple of angels and a few seven. Ignore them. On your knees, then, mate. Start praying. You didn't use it. We'll make a carpenter of you yet, brother. Ben Nala, the ark would have gone down with all hands, paws, and hooves. I'm thinking you're improving. Your last year leaving had four legs. Leo, how's it going? Now look at this. Four pages of editorial. You can't buy that kind of publicity. And this rag is read by just about everyone who matters in London. Do you know what happened the day after this came out? 
Terence Conran's people phoned me. He wants to launch a community range of furniture in his shops. What do you think about that? Who is he? Conran. Who is Conran? Oh. <laughs> God, I love you people. Never mind, the point is everyone's crazy about your work. You're a success, Chief. I'm up to my neck in orders. Mr. Cowley wants us to increase our productivity. How many more times? It can't be done. Leo. Cowley. Yes. That's not the point. Why did you hit him at all? He said I was going to hell because I don't dress like the other girls. Because I wear jeans and trainers. Just ignore him, Charlie. You're free to wear whatever you want to. Your mother's right. You can go on wearing what you do now for as long as you want. If it is what you really want. They don't like it because I look different. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Easy, just let her speak for herself. Sorry. I want them to stop being horrible to me. Well, how do we do that? You could tell them off. Well, you're a big girl now, Charlie. Isn't it better you solve the problem yourself? What if you didn't look different? They wouldn't have a reason to tease you then, would they? That's just giving in to bullying. It's common sense. I'm right, aren't I, Charlie? If you look like everyone else, there wouldn't be a problem. Charlie, you don't have to wear anything you don't want to. She hit another child. She has to learn to fit in. You should be helping her. trying to be logical. believe God spoke to Richard? Yeah, Richard said so. And of course he did. It's just, I think something might be wrong with him. So many terrible things happened to us so quickly. We lost the house, the business went under, and I, I did something that hurt him very badly. Go on. Whole enthusiasm for the way of life here. <sighs> he used to blame half the world's problems on religion. He was a complete atheist. And then we get here and suddenly he gets some kind of personal hotline to God. I have to remind you of St. Paul on the road to Damascus. You're saying you think Richard's faith is some kind of nervous reaction to stress? It's possible, isn't it? I'm a believer first, Deborah. A doctor second. You can't expect me to regard the beliefs I hold most dearly as some kind of symptom of mental illness. Oh, perhaps you think I'm mad as well. Of course not. What's happened to Richard is a wonderful thing. You should be happy for him. be the next patriarch when the time comes. God's will is clear enough. Your will? We don't know that it's God's. The, the patriarch is God's voice on earth. It's not for us to question him. The law allows for a vote by the whole community. There hasn't been a vote for a hundred years. There's never any need. The law is the law. And who is going to stand against Carl Leo? You? The people should have a choice. Between what? We all believe in the same thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. This church began because God told our fathers to live apart from the world, strictly according to his law. That seems to have been forgotten recently. Leo, you're a good man. But your kind of goodness commands respect, not love. 
Oh, they'll listen to you, but they won't vote for you. Is he right? Oh, Peter, if only you'd give it a little more time. Talk things through again. I want to see what the outside world will offer. For my family's sake. Oh, God be with you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are you just going to stand there and let them go? Well, what else can I do? This isn't a prison. Well, you, of all people, should know what's at stake. Look what happened to your own family. Dear. Yeah. I'm only speaking the truth. Do you really know what you're doing? With respect, brother, we've made our decision. What do you think you'll find when you go through those gates? A land flowing with milk and honey? I'll tell you what's out there. Greed. Selfishness. Cruelty. Murder. Disease. How are you going to keep them safe? You can't. Believe me. You have no idea what it's like. Trust me, I know. Richard, I understand what you're going through. I know this life isn't easy, but believe me, whatever the sacrifice is, it's better than the alternative. If you leave, you'll be destroying yourself and your family. He's right. We can't go. Mark, please. We've discussed this a thousand times. We agreed it would be all or none of us. We can't turn back now. I'm not going either. No! I'm sorry. No! Come on. Come on. I'm begging you. They are doing the right thing. They're grown men now. No. It's their choice. No, Peter, do something. Sarah. Do something, please. Enough. <laughs> Isaac? At least two of them were seen. Was it worth destroying a whole family to do it? Hmm? if he listened to his doctor's advice and took on less work. Yeah. He who sinneth before his maker let him fall into the hands of a physician. I'll see you later. Oh. Your husband's a very passionate man, Deborah. He never used to be like that. Well, he's over-enthusiastic, but that'll pass. He has energy and faith. Community needs those qualities. Do you really think he belongs here? All my family belong here. I should never have let you go in the first place. should have told me. I'm yeah. the only family he's got. He wanted it this way. How long? Months. Possibly weeks. You're wrong about one thing, Deborah. We're all Isaac's family here. Mm. 
Leo, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were being deliberately unhelpful. I work for the glory of God, brother, not your precious Mr. Cowley's balance sheet. The love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, Isaac. Mm. Are you all right? No, I'm, yes, no, 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 no. Are you, are you all right? Yes, thank you. Are you sure? Um, brother, all these invoices have a VAT marked down as 20%. Should be 17 and a half. Mr. Cowley told us it went up in the last government budget. No. No, that's wrong. Cowley has been charging you two and a half percent over the odds on all his services as an agent. You see what happens when we put too much faith in these people? No, 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 no. no. It's my fault. I should have checked. I should have checked. my temper. Immodest behavior is especially ugly in the gentler sex system. But we'll overlook the matter this time. I think it's right for the sisters to do all the menial tasks. And women should share things equally. You sound like a feminist. Is that good? Yes, very. <laughs> you could do with a few more like you, you know. Thank you, sister. I'm not your sister. Call me Deborah. Have you heard from your family? Not yet. You think I should have gone with them, don't you? That's not for me to say. I've still got Mark. He looks after me. Is it true what Brother Richard says about the outside? Not all the time. What is it like that? It's complicated. My father said we'd be free. Oh, he's right. But being free doesn't always make you happy. So it is better in here then. Church teach. Oh. The church teaches us that pop music comes from the devil. Well, that might come as a surprise to Cliff Richard. <laughs> Why not decide for yourself? trust you when you do these things to me. Richard, you can't possibly think... I don't know what to think ever since you and Doyle are... Why do you have to question things? Everything here is meant for the best. Why can't you just accept that? Because I'm not made that way. I have to be able to think for myself.
be happy for me, Carl. I'll be with God soon. See, I've told you this, because I want you to be ready for the day when you take over. seems to be always just out of reach. You see, why always the same dream if it has no meaning? I'm sorry. I know I can trust you now. It's just... Deborah, what's wrong? It's Isaac. I doesn't want anyone to know yet. He's dying. in the final stages. God have mercy on his soul. Amen to that. Then there isn't much time. Time for what? Richard, you might not know that the Patriarch has chosen Karl Brack to succeed him. Karl's like Isaac. He thinks we should go on living hand in glove with the outsiders. They can't be allowed to compromise God's will any longer. Well, how can you stop Karl if he's Isaac's choice? We can force a vote. Lord Alsbury. The world is coming to an end. I mean, it could happen at any moment. We are God's people. We have to be ready. What have you got to say for yourself? I'm sorry. Everyone's doing so much to help you, and this is how you repay them. We are not put on this earth for our own pleasure. Don't you understand that? Can I have it back now? I promise not to take it to school again. No, I think it's best if we remove the temptation altogether. But I promise... I said no! That's the end of it. No debate or argument now. God's word is law here, and he speaks through me. The sooner you learn that, the happier you'll be.
You had no right to take it away from her. She needs discipline. She needs sensitivity and understanding. Her whole life has been turned upside down in the last few months. The sooner she forgets what she used to be, the better it'll be for her. We should be helping. By confiscating her toys. I want you to support me on this. I don't. You're my wife, Deborah. It is your duty to back my decisions. My duty? Where is it? Where is it? I don't want my daughter to go through the same things I had to. I, I want her to have a choice about how she lives and what she believes. You promised me we'd leave if we were ever unhappy. Pray with me, Deborah. I don't want us to pray. I want us to leave. We have to stay together as a family. Yes, we do. But we can't do that in here. What are you saying? Charlie and I are leaving as soon as we can. And I want you to come with us. If you don't, we're going to go anyway. Did you hear me? I heard you. Leave this place. Get out. Get out before it's too late. Deborah. Isaac, what are you doing out of bed? What does he mean? Why, why is he talking His like that? He's playing tricks on him. Please, read this to me. speak with your brother? These are great days, aren't they, Charlie? We must be the luckiest family on earth. 
If you say so, Daddy. Not just because I say so, Charlie. Are you happy, sweetheart? Nothing is ever going to come between us again. I promise you. Dear brothers and sisters, our beloved patriarch Isaac proposes Karl Brack to succeed him. Does anyone stand against him? One man among us supremely fitted to lead the community at this difficult time. Someone who I know commands your respect and admiration. He has impressed us all by his passionate commitment to our ideals. But above all, he values our way of life. Precisely because he understands all too well the corruption that lies beyond our gates. I propose for Patriarch, our brother, Isaac Muller's grandson by marriage. Richard Bennett. Something. Oh, no. no! If no. you don't do it, I will. No! Oh! I... Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Started the vote.
two of heaven and earth is next sunday at five past nine here on bbc one Jobs.